Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's June 13th, 2013. And the reason why I decided to make this video is I've had a lot of people who keep writing in asking me, what can we do, what can we do? Um, and of course they realize, as we all do, that writing our congressmen and senators is almost a waste of time. Not to say not to do it, because I still think that we need to help hold them accountable and we can go back and say, look, we tried to get you to do this and you refused or you ignored us or whatever. So ever, all of those types of things, going to our state representatives, our, our federal uh, government representatives, people like that, of course that's right. Writing letters to you know, president, to governors, to you know even the FBI, the director of the FBI, things like that. There's nothing wrong with all that, but of course they very rarely act on any of those because they're above the law and they know what's best, right? But here are some things you can do. You know, I came out... Uh, with that video the other day on whistleblowers because they're in a position to do a very uh, patriotic, a very good thing for our republic to start holding these people accountable even though there's some danger in it for themselves. But I, I still get these messages, well I want to do something, what can I do? So I made, I look back on my videos and, and basically I've given you what you can do safely at this point. We don't want to start talking about taking up arms, and, and, and as I've said before, that's, that's really not where you want to go with this thing. You want to avoid that as much as possible. We, we really don't want to go there, and you know how I feel about that. But I have told everybody what they can do, and these are positive things. They really do work. So I, I've done it on several videos, but apparently it's escaping people. So I thought I'd put it all on one video. And this is where we're going to start. In all of my videos, in everything I've ever said, I say prepare. Because without you, even if we get through this thing on the other side, if you're not there, what good is that going to do? We need you on the other side of this. So what do you need? You need to prepare food, water, commodities that you can trade. Uh, you know, get, get yourself trained in a trade as quickly as you can. If you already have one, great. Uh, get involved with a group of people that are like-minded, as I've said before. Gather to states, counties, towns, wherever that you know that there are like-minded people. Preparation. Some people would call it, you know, prepping or survival skills or whatever. But really, it's just making sure, you, you know, like we used to do 100, even 60, 70 years ago, people would have a store of food and supplies in case something happened they could carry through. And that's all I'm saying. So everyone needs to have a store of supplies and basic things to get you through an emergency. And hopefully, you know, you have enough to last for the entire emergency. You know, and of course, buy non-hybrid seeds. You know, you can even grow a garden that will keep you alive in a very small backyard. So survival is for everybody across the board. That's the first thing you do, okay? Now I go back and I, I talk to specific people. You may remember that I did a video to military people called Met-T. And I told them to do their Met-T. Now I don't expect all of you out there to understand what that is. But that one, in addition to preparation, that was to the vets and to the military people to tell them to do their met T. Okay? Ask them to start looking at those, those things that met T talks about and to make proper arrangements, whatever you feel that those are. So that's what I asked the vets and the military to do. And, and, and as in all these, I've given, it, given you the, the things to do according to your abilities and understanding. Okay? Uh, because you're not going to change the government, okay? We, we know that now. The only hope we have now is that this whistleblower thing, which I'll talk about in a minute, blows the lid off of it enough to wake people up. But, but then some other th terrible things could happen. So we're really on the precipice of some danger here. But at least we're trying. So to the vets, it was Met T. Uh, for police, sheriffs, it was abide by your oath, you know, join Oath Keepers, learn about the Constitution, don't, don't do anything that's against the Constitution. If you're ordered to do something, stand down, refuse to do it. Lose your job, don't lose your soul, okay? And certainly don't cause other people's problems, you know, to, to get worse. For citizens generally, like I've said, food supply, gather with like-minded people, those kinds of things. And then in groups like that, you can decide what courses of action you can take. It's best not to do it individually. Numbers always speak louder. 
for people in the government. This kind of goes back to what I was saying in my video on the Army of Liberty, of liberation. Um, you know, you people are in a specific, really good spot to do a lot of good. It's dangerous to come out, of course, and to say these things are happening, but if a lot of you do it at once, as I already explained, then that's something you can do. You can actually take a part in that. You all doing that, you all are the real patriots, the real saviors of the republic. <laughs> you know, really. Uh, you deserve medals when you do this. Um, you know, the Snowden thing, of course I told you, you know, that they would start the demonizing of, of Snowden and say that he lied about who he was. You know, take pictures of his girlfriend. I mean, for crying out loud, the guy's a man and she's a woman. You know, leave him alone. You know, you guys in the State Department, right? Yeah, you've got prostitutes on the outside and you want to pick on Ed Snowden and his girlfriend? Come on. <sighs> you know, human beings are human beings. <sighs> You point the finger at a guy like that and his girlfriend with the kinds of stuff you did. Secret service with prostitutes and whores in South America. And you know something? I'll tell you this up straight. I know about that personally. And I won't tell you how, but I was there. I know exactly what they're talking about. And it's true. Enough said on that. I still get angry about things like that. You know, these people that try to find fault with others for living their lives, it just, it, it just aggravates me. <laughs> All right, well, anyway. Whistleblowing. That's something that people in the government can do, or in corporations that have government contracts. Obama said, if you don't trust us, we or you have a problem. Do you see what he's telling you? He's telling you if you don't submit, there's going to be a problem. He's telling you what he's going to do again. Okay? Now, I'm hearing all kinds of rumblings that, uh, you know, uh, he's going to be stepping down on July 4th and all this. You know, I don't know. We have, I don't care what they do to Obama. I don't care what they do to Biden. I don't care what they do to Holder. I want them all to, to get criminally charged. Impeach is what I want. But if they go away, this monstrosity is still there. So we have to go after the system. Remembering that what we're about is the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Anyway, so that's the list of things to do. And of course, with people, you can get there and, and do some planning and do some other things as you find necessary. But exposing, putting light on the darkness is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing that you can do. And then I'll go back to Alexander Solzhenitsyn. If they come for you, you fight back. You know, and he said, you know, if the people had fought back when the officers came and they heard the knock at the door, if they were down there with their, their, their butcher knives and their hammers and their hoes and their rakes and, and got rid of those officers, that they wouldn't be in such a big hurry to do it next time. And, of course, that's a dangerous thing, and we're, we're hopefully not at that point now, but there are people that they're grabbing, as you know. We've talked about Brandon Robb, uh, folks like that. So it has happened. Uh, but we're still trying to keep a lid on this thing. But if it comes to the point where they do another Boston, I think things are going to be a little different, okay? And rightly so at that point. Uh, so at any rate, and what I mean by Boston is that martial law fiasco of looking for that 19-year-old, <laughs> you know, <laughs> scaring those, those citizens half to death, pulling them out of their houses at gunpoint, and then the mayor of Boston saying, oh, we didn't do that. Demons, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm being a little sarcastic here comes a point where you do have to stand up but at this at this point we just want to tell them we see you we know what you're doing and we're going to get rid of you one way or the other all right just prepare in the ways that i've said that's the very best thing you can do uh thanks so much uh i'll get back to you again after i find out what's going to happen over the next few days some things are in the works keep your eyes open on the horizon and your ears to the ground don't let a day go by that you don't watch what's going on so that you're aware, okay? All right, thank you so much.